if Mr. Doty has requested something, he wants a copy of the request, and he wants also a copy of whatever responses we make, which we have not made yet. As far as there is a Mr. Nye and a Ms. Paisley who have also made requests, and Mr. Ellis would like to have their requests, he also wants the responses. At this time, when we looked for just the electronics alone, we found 1,543 electronic emails of sorts that all contained either Roseware, Blue Gem, Blueware, and so I asked IT to produce that and count for me so that I would know how many there were. Because some of it is work product, I have to review all of them, so we sent them a bill. They object to the bill. The court may determine one way or the other about that bill, but certainly I don't think Mr. Ellis has the standing to plead against what has been billed to Mr. Nye or to Ms. Paisley. That's their issue, if you will, that should be posted before the court. Mr. Ellis, your request is for copies of the public records request that those individuals made? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How is that thousands of pages? We're just talking about the request that they made. Each one of them has requested electronic transmission. That's emails. There's 1,543 of them. I have them. I can show them to you in chambers if you wish. I'm not going to look at 1,000 something emails. I know. Is that what you're suggesting? Well, my suggestion is, well, I wish I had one. I can't just willy-nilly release them. I have to look through them to make sure that there's no work product that still obtains. I don't know where to go there. How would it be work product when these folks are requesting public records? How is that work product? Well, if I write as attorney to the clerk an advisory issue to the clerk, if I specify anything, that's work product. That's not what he's asking for. He's asking for the request from these four people. Okay. So he wants me to send what their request is and then what? And what we transmit. What's the official response to them? Not your letters to Mr. Neal. Okay. Okay. So how long do you need for that? About a week. I would suggest instead of looking at a calendar for that answer, you might want to look at your watch. Okay. It's pretty simple. It would seem to be. You need a week to produce them. Well, I'd have to go through them because there may be things that I want to exempt from the disclosure as attorney to the clerk. I realize that the attorney privilege is very much narrower in this instance than it is, say, to a private attorney, but, you know, what if? Not the request. Oh, I could produce the request, yes. But the actual email, I mean, you know, end of the week. Friday at noon. Okay. Next, Mr. Ellis. My belief is that the cost has been excessive. Simple ones, which I include, were for some invoices. We pulled the financial system. Probably eight total. This should take a matter of minutes to go through and get the number of things out. I would charge four hours of time, $100, $104 for the entire request, of which $92 of that was their time to simply go in and print the documents. I'm not asking for anything that's not on my list. I'm asking for something very simple and very easy to produce. I don't understand why I'm being charged all this research time. In fact, on what was given to me with number two, I actually identified the ones I was looking for. I identified the Marine Patrol guys. I identified the two-hour contracts, the attorneys. I identified them. So Beverly Young was source two. Since I identified them, how could it take four hours to find what I had already identified? Where's the request, Mr. Ellis? You get a lot of attachments to your position. Well, number two is the cost. It appears we each have a copy of the invoice for the cost to produce. However, as Mr. Ellis has pointed out to the court, 
he has already received many of these documents from, <coughs> I believe it's his track. If he has them, does he still need us to produce them? I need to know what he wants and what he doesn't want. My point is the executive needs. If I may, uh, I'll present to the court what the invoice, if I may approach. That's the answer. No, it doesn't. So if you want relief from that, that's the issue for the legislature, not for me. 
They need to change that. I agree. Pick it up with them. I will. Give me a few minutes, I'll be back. Okay.
then when you claim an exemption, you can either argue about it and have a court decide it, which was decided today. And um, I don't believe the court ruled on any of the exemptions. What it ruled was Mr. Ellis has what he pretty much asked for with a couple of those final exemptions. More than that, I guess. When you heard it, I was there. Is there, do you think there's going to be some sort of litigation about some of these contracts that have gone out recently? I really don't have a clue at this point. I had anticipated, as you heard me say in court, but right now, no. Mr. Needleman wasn't here? No, sir. Why not? He wasn't noticed to be here. It was a notice of the hearing.